This is not a sponsored video. I paid for everything myself. I certainly do. Apparently. Wait, what, what is this? The sad jowls hanging down. <laughs> Hey team, welcome to today's video and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Hayden. We know the deal around here and in case you don't, Mondays are review days. We typically balance between skincare and fashion or affordable fashion for men. We have doubled in other things before. And today is no different. We will be looking at a brand that I discovered on Instagram. Just scrolling through as you usually do and the advert came up and I thought it was interesting because I hadn't seen anything particularly like it before and thought, you know what, let's give it a go and see what's up. This is not a sponsored video. I paid for everything myself. And today's video is based on my first impressions, my experience and initial thoughts with the pieces that we collected today. The brand we're looking at is Miller Cora. Once again, I hadn't heard of this before. So here I am doing my usual scroll through Instagram. And there I saw this knitted piece and I've got, got it open on my phone. And I thought, you know what? Who doesn't need a crocheted shirt in their life? I certainly do, apparently. The three pieces that we are looking at today and they're all in medium are the men's brown knitted two piece set in medium, which I paid 58 Australian dollars and as usual I will do the conversion. The second item is the men's casual knitted croquet or crochet shirt and I paid $34.99 Australian. And then finally the men's white knitted two piece set which is what initially grabbed my attention on the advert. And that was $56.99 Australian dollars with a grand total, including shipping, $149.98. Now, it did take quite a while for it to be delivered. Whether or not that means it's a custom type deal, I'm not certain that's the case. I don't even know where it got shipped from and I can actually have a look right now. Pretty certain it came from China, but we will have, we will find that out when we open it up and see where it's been manufactured. It took around two and a half to three months, which is kind of wild when you think about it. It is almost one of the longest time frames I've ever experienced ordering something online. I could be mistaken and if you've been here a while and you've watched all my videos and I am mistaken, let me know. We have the giant package right here. When I came home one day and I saw this outside leaning against my front door, I had no idea what it was because honestly I kind of forgot that I'd ordered it and I was waiting on it because it took so long. And then when I opened it up, I was like, like I semi opened it up just to see what it was. It's got a lot of weight to it. And then it kind of clicked and I was like, oh, that's right. So we're going to dive right in with the first package that I have my hand on, which is brown. I'm assuming it's the two piece set right here. We've got the standard Ziploc bag situation. Just looking through the bag, the weave, it looks pretty decent. Will it have the stereotypical cheap fabric stench. I am highly surprised it does not. And it feels really soft. I don't think this is made from wool. It doesn't actually say anything other on the tag other than the number one. Here we have it out of its packaging. So obviously this is one of the two piece sets. The top half, first impressions, I'm, I'm not mad at it. And then the bottom half, which I don't know how this is gonna go with knitted or crocheted pants. This is where the weight is. That's quite heavy. And how does that stay up? Is there elastic in there? I think there is elastic in there because otherwise it wouldn't come back. Now I am interested or curious to know what it's made from. Because I don't believe it's wool. Not for that price anyway. So the bottom of the pants do have a bit of a flare situation. Like that's a considerable flare. It's almost like a bell bottom. You know, I have no idea where in the world I would particularly wear these or where I could wear them, but they're kind of cool. You know, I can't actually find a tag that states what it's made from. We'll take a look at the construction and then we'll go to the website on my phone to see if we can find any further information because there's no actual tag on both of these items, nor on the packing bag itself. From what I can see, it looks very, very well made. We'll take a look at where the neckline meets the shoulder, the front of the shoulder and the back of the shoulder. 
on one of the sleeves. I mean, look at that detail. You can see, obviously, light filters through because it is a weave. There is nothing in there that looks dodgy. I mean, there is a tie-off here. You can see it's being plaited out, but there and there's no bunching. There's nothing that looks like there's a bunch of fabric that's just been pushed together because the stitching's been rough, but that's pretty clean. And even around the outside hem, you can see all the way along how even the stitch is. We'll take a look at the, we'll just see if we can find out on the website what these are actually made of. Okay, so I've got it open on their website, the Millicora website. You can see the name of it up the top. It says that their products are made from high quality microfiber cotton yarn. That would explain why it's super soft and it doesn't have that stench, like bad quality materials. All right, well, that's enough chatting. Let's go try these two things on and see if they look ridiculous. Incredibly soft. They are incredibly soft. Kind of form flattering, however. And before I spin it around, there is no irritation. It doesn't feel like it's going to make me itch or anything. Nothing is pinching, pulling, doing something that is potentially going to annoy you. But I kind of look like a rug and the pants are super long. Yep, I kind of look like a shag rug. I don't know if I could ever wear these together because independently, and you can see my dark underwear through the pants themselves. Speaking of, that is how long they are, duck feet. But if you can get past that, I think you could actually get away. I mean, these would be fantastic in, I don't know, on a beach somewhere, I guess, on holiday, because there would be breeze coming through. It is not exactly wind resistant. And this jumper, I could wear with jeans because it is form flattering, like I said before. Let me know. Does it give shag rug vibes? First one down. I do quite like the way it feels on the body. Like I said before, it's incredibly soft. And the jumper I would definitely be able to wear either by itself or over something else. The pants, I'm not too sure about. Moving along. So I've just realized that when I went in there and I opened up the package to get the next item, pretty certain I did not order anything this color. Give me one moment. So whether or not I accidentally ordered the wrong color, but I'm certain that I didn't because this is like a teal, aquary teal is not, oh, I stand corrected. It kind of is a similar color. It's just a bit more vibrant in person where it's a bit more muted here. All right, well, it's the men's casual knitted crochet shirt, size medium in this color. Now this one looks a bit dodge. It doesn't have the Ziploc, it's a cellophane kind of a bag. I'm guessing this one is going to smell. It does have a slight smell to it. I don't know what that is. It's kind of plasticky. It doesn't feel as soft as this one. It's kind of got more of a rough texture is the best way to describe it. Here it is out of its packaging. It looks like it's a similar construction and quality. From what I can see, it's very, very well done. It is quite impressive craftsmanship. I wonder if this is actually handmade or it's made by a machine because machines can do pretty much everything these days. There's not a lot to it when it comes to cons construction. You've got one hem down the front where the front meets the back. You don't see anything that's sticking out. There's no loose threads. I don't see any potential issue. This will, however, be slightly see-through, I think. As you can see, he sees some straight through it. Let's try this on. Now that I have it on, it's not terrible. It does fit, it's very soft on the body, even though I said before, it does have a rougher texture to the fingertips, it does. It feels comfortable on the body. It's flattering around the shoulders and the arms. I'm not sure about the body fit, why it's so pouchy, but maybe that's just the make of it. There's nothing that is potentially going to annoy or irritate. The fabric doesn't feel like it's irritating my skin. It's not scratchy or anything. And the smell's actually completely gone. See what I mean about pouchiness? And this side hangs down lower than this side. Also when you move, and it's actually, it's not that see-through that I thought it was going to be. When you move, you feel the breeze coming through all of the little holes. You got a side view, but yeah, what is with that? There's absolutely no shape to the shirt. Like, what, what is this? The sad jowls hanging down. Which leaves the last set, the one that caught my attention to start with, the white two-piece suit. Now, I'm hoping that this one is a short sleeve. So this one is a similar scenario, and I can see buttons on this one and a collar. 
than the first one. It comes in the Ziploc, whereas this didn't come in a Ziploc. It was just that plastic bag. Not a slight odor, kind of similar to this actually, but it feels exactly the same as the brown two-piece set. Really soft. It does have that cottony kind of a vibe. And I do think this is a short sleeve. Yes, it is. You can see the sleeve. Here we have the shirt out of its packaging same setup on scenario the construction looks impeccable you can see a t junction where the collar meets the front and back panels on the shoulder there's no bunching or anything that could potentially cause an issue. And again, there aren't any tags that I can see or hear other than the one at the top that says one. Here are the pants. Looks like a similar situation with the bell bottom. That is a considerable size. You see the waistband at the top. Now these are supposed to be a medium, but that looks a lot smaller than the brown ones. Here's hoping these ones aren't super long and make me look like duck feet. Yeah, these pants you could not wear in public unless you were just going to the beach and these were over pants or something that you were gonna throw over before you got in the water because they are incredibly see-through. Similar scenario to the last two pieces, very comfortable, very soft on the body. Nothing feels like it's gonna potentially annoy me or cause issues. Now it could be, obviously it's going to be because of the color of this one compared to the previous two. It is a lot more see-through, top and bottom. As you can see, you can clearly see my underwear through the pants. You see them at the back. You can also see the color of my nipples while poking through. That being said, the pants aren't as long as the brown pants. The waistband is quite comfortable. This is the full length. Nowhere near as long as the brown ones that came out and covered my toes. The shirt, I would definitely wear. I like that it hugs your arms and I like that this one actually has some shape to it and it's very flattering across the chest. Well, I don't know if that's because we've got the button up that brings it in, cinches it a little bit. The quality of the construction and the fabric, I'm very impressed with. The opacity, not so much. And there we have it. I am quite Quite impressed with the quality the cut of the pieces like I just stated but I'll let you be the judge of that and while you're at it let me know what kind of events places spaces would you actually wear these pieces in my mind is beach or poolside because it doesn't offer a lot of coverage I will link everything down below if you want to check them out for yourself and if you do I'm always curious is it the same experience that you have had similar to myself or not thanks for watching team make sure we do the fun stuff but most importantly stay tuned